funny. Welcome to today's episode of Kaleidoscope's Corner. We have Missy Owen back with us again yeah. from our Rockledge facility of BCBA, myself, Bajan, and Melanie is not able to make it today, but she'll be back next episode. So today we're going to be discussing a little bit of various schedules parents can make in their homes. Now, examples of those schedules, Missy's going to go ahead and break that down for us. Mm -hmm. Um, so examples of schedules you can make in your home to try and make your life easier. This could be with if you have a kid on the spectrum or even if you have just a plain kid in your house. They're not the easiest people to handle. Right. We can attest for that one. <laughs> um, so some types of schedules you could make. It could be if you want to make a morning routine schedule. So kind of first thing in the morning, what do you want them to do? Or it could be a nighttime routine schedule. So the opposite before you go to bed, kind of the dinner, the bath, maybe some chores, getting pajamas on, brushing teeth. Um, and then going to bed. Then also um, some schedules you might want to do, it could be involving a specific daily living task, such as bathing, um, feeding, even making a snack, um, or chores as well, like vacuuming, sweeping, dusting tables, mowing the lawn. Um, all of that could be examples of some schedules. Awesome job, you explained that very well. Now let me ask you, there is questions to ask when you're starting this off with parents. Can you go into a little bit about how to help the parents yeah. get started on this? Yeah, so a good way is to kind of figure out what you want to do a schedule on. So as the parent, you want to ask yourself, so what are the biggest issues that you have with your child at home? Is it, it could be during that morning routine time. It could be when you tell them to do a chore. Um, it could be a feeding or bathing routine. Um, so you want to kind of ask yourself, what is the biggest issue currently? And what do they need the most help with? So that would be a good idea. That would be the first one you want to get started with. Um, something else to ask is, what takes the most time to complete? Does it take your kiddo 10 minutes to make themselves a snack, eat it, and clean up? Or does it take them two hours to try and make a snack? And then it's all messy, and there's peanut butter all over the fridge. Um, so you want to kind of ask yourself those questions. And then also, always keep in mind if there's any safety medical concerns, those should always be addressed first and foremost. Um, for obvious reasons on that one. And then also, are there any chores or specific tasks that you know if you tell your kiddo, hey, it's time to put your clothes away, that they would engage in problem behaviors? Um, so typically anything that would elicit those behaviors, that would be, want to be something that you get started to kind of get a set schedule in so that way they know the expectation, know what to do, you guys know what to do as well. So now that you answered a few of our questions about how the parent can get started, how can we make a schedule for them? Mm -hmm. So probably the easiest way to do that, especially in your home, is you do it yourself as the parent. Um, so like if the example is you want to teach your child how to vacuum, you want to make kind of a schedule or even like a basic chore schedule. Um, so it could be once you get home from school, you want them to put away their backpack, get themselves a snack, sweep the kitchen, and then they can go and have some free time. So with that, you yourself do it. So you pretend you walk in the house. Where are you going to put your backpack? Do you have to unpack it first? Um, where you put the shoes? Where you put your jackets? And then kind of going through the routine that way, write it down. So that way, when you do teach your child how to do it, you know what to do. And it's what you want them to do versus like, hey, kid, when you get home, just put your stuff away and then go make a snack. Because that's yeah, probably not going to work. Um, and then there's different ways you can teach this as well. It could be either a total task so that you essentially present all the steps and say, here you go, go do it. Or it could be one of the different chaining procedures, which we have talked about in previous videos if you need a reference. Um, so with that, you can either do the forward chain, so they do the first step and then you can help them with the rest, or the backward chain, you do all of it and they do the last step and you work your way back up. Missy, you did an awesome job these past three videos we've had you on explaining all this information that we mm -hmm. needed to know. It's been a pleasure having you. you. Once again, Missy, our BCBA over at the Rockledge facility. If you have any more questions, please refer to your behavior analyst. I'm Bajan. Have a great day.